What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. We're finally about to fill our social media coordinator position. We're also in the process of hiring a new upholsterer as well. So much is happening for our recruitment team today. Follow me along as I send an offer to our top candidate and follow up on a different offer that I already sent out. Here we are on the main recruitment dashboard, so let's hop into the social media coordinator job position. We're really happy with all the interviews we had with Gloria Stevenson, and we want to offer her the job. So first, let's click and drag her applicant card into the contract proposal stage since I'm going to send her a contract. Next, I'll click into her applicant card, and I can see her evaluation here is excellent through these three stars on top of her candidate. There's also some good comments here from other interviewers in the notes field. I'm going to click into the details tab to see some more information. And here I can see what Gloria would like to be compensated, which is $50,000. In this other benefits field here, she can enter what other compensation she would like. In this case, she would also like health insurance indicated by medical. So I'm going to offer her $55,000 in the proposed field, and I hope she really likes that. We also offer health insurance and a 401k plan. So in the other benefits field here, I'm going to type in medical and 401k. I can also see that she applied from someone's personal referral link. And Gregory will be getting a nice reward for referring this awesome candidate. Okay, now that we have the proposed salary and benefits entered, I'm going to click the generate offer at the top of the screen. When I do, this offer form loads with all the information pre-populated based on the contract template that I selected for this job position, which is the Stealthy Wood employee contract. The default employer budget, or what we usually call the employee's annual salary, it says $50,000 because that's the default salary in the Stealthy Wood employee contract. So I'm just going to update this to say 55,000 because that's what we're offering Gloria. And below that, I can verify the job title and that's correct as well as the department, which is correct as well. And I need to update the contract start date since she's available to start on March 3rd. This date below the offer create date is automatically set to today since this is when we're making the offer and it can't be changed. The offer validity date directly under is the expiration date and this is automatically populated to 30 days from today since that's what is noted here in the validity days count at the bottom. While 30 days is the default time, I'm going to update this offer to expire in two weeks and all I have to do is update the validity days count here to 14. And last, this link is where Gloria will go to view and sign her contract. Everything here looks good, so I'm just going to click send by email here at the top. And I see this email preview, and it looks good. But I don't want to send this now. I like to send my offers first thing in the morning. So I'm going to click this arrow down here next to the send button and click on send later. So these are the default times available for me to select. But since I like to send offers out at 9 a.m., I'm going to pick a specific time. And I'll select tomorrow's date. And I will update this to 9 a.m. Then I'll just click schedule and it will go out tomorrow morning. And we can see here in the chatter that the email has been sent. So let's go ahead and click read more to preview the message. And we'll double check that it's being sent tomorrow. When she clicks on the configure your package link that was emailed, she's taken to this customize your salary page. Here I can request additional vacation time if I want. No guarantee it's going to be approved though. The right shows her proposed salary broken down monthly and annually. If she likes what she sees, then she'd fill out her personal information that appears below this. Some information is pre-populated based off of her applicant record. Same with the rest of the form. Once it's all filled out, she just clicks review, contract, and sign, and she's navigated through the entire signature process. 
Note that you need the sign app in order to digitally sign contracts. Okay, Gloria is finished signing and sending the contract, and this is the confirmation she receives. Okay, Gloria's contract is processed, but I sent job offers to other candidates, and I need to follow up on them. So I'm going to start by heading to the sign app to check on any contracts that I need to sign. Here on the documents dashboard, I can see all the documents, whether they're fully signed or not. I see I need to sign some new contracts. And these are the new upholsters and carpenters we just sent offers to. I can tell these contracts have already been signed by the future employee because their names appear in green, as well as the date they signed their contracts. So I'm going to go ahead and sign David Billy's contract first by clicking on the document. Now I'm just going to click sign now in the upper left hand corner. I just need to follow the prompt, so I'll start by clicking click to start. And I'll just go ahead and click on the signature box to add my digital signature. And then I'll also click into the date box. And we're just going to type in today's date. Last, all I have to do is click validate and send completed document. And this pop-up window lets me know that it's signed, and I can also download the PDF if I want simply by clicking download. But I don't need to since they're all stored in the Documents app. I can now see that the contract is fully signed because both signatures appear as green. It's that easy. And now that the contract is fully signed, Odoo automatically creates an employee record for the new hire. So let's check that out. So we're going to head to the Employees app. And because I remember who we just hired, I'm just going to type David here in the search box. And there he is. I just need to fill out the rest of his employee record. And feel free to watch the tutorials on adding employee information for more details on that. And that's it for this recruitment tutorial. We learned how to send offers to applicants, what they see when they go to sign their contract, how we sign the contract on our end, and saw that Odoo makes employee records automatically when contracts are fully signed. Keep recruiting, Odooers.